Hey, uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. Um, I have this deck that I almost used in yesterday's video, but I changed it up a little bit. I took out the Ice Spirit and I threw in what I, I threw in the Musketeer. And it's been doing a little bit better actually for me. So I'm constantly trying to change and shift this deck around because I want to make it work. Uh, everybody's using Miners and Lava Hounds. And they're coming in like crazy. So we're going to use something a little bit different. And we're going to make sure. We're going to see if it works. But <laughs> dude, check out this last. I'll start it. I'll kind of start it while we're um, chit-chatting here for a second. But check out this last battle that I did here. Anyway, so I mean everything's changing in the game like crazy. Because, you know... Uh, Everybody's trying new cards out, they're trying new combinations out, and so it's kind of getting crazy out there. Which is great for us because um, it's not the same old, same old bridge spam kind of crap that keeps coming our way. And it's awesome because we get to see new combinations being used. And so we're having to adapt our game as well, which is awesome. It's good that these guys, that Supercell does these balance changes every once in a while so that we can change things up so it doesn't become so monotonous, kind of like, you know, Clash of Clans. Um, so anyway, it's pretty sweet. Anyway, so he started out, this guy right here was rocking a Sparky deck, which isn't really a problem ever, really. So I wasn't concerned about losing as much, um, unless, of course, I was recording live. Then I would be concerned about losing because that's usually what happens even when you have a Sparky deck. The only thing that you got to focus on when you're playing somebody with a Sparky deck is do not let Sparky hit your tower. So we're going to speed this up a little bit more, see if we can't get in there. So I'm just lightning in and... And doing my thing, basically using bats here and there. Um, I'm surprised, dude. There was a couple times when he should have definitely zapped my bats, and he just let him go to town. I think there was one time he let my bats take out his complete uh, group of barbarians. So it was actually insane. So anyway, so I'm going to town here. Here's a little thing. Uh, so right here, we're going in for the kill. My hog rider. Oh crap! Oh, my hog rider kind of gets in there. And we have one second left of overtime, and I go to grab my zap right here. Dude, look at that. Four flipping elixir on the Four health on the tower. Four health, people. Anyway, obviously, you know the story. I did not grab my zap in time. The match ended horribly. I was utterly distraught and confused a little bit as well. Anyway, we're going to get into some live battles here, but... Uh, not on the ladder. We're going to go over to this grand challenge that I started um, and see if we can't get this deck to work just at standard play. Of course, we're practicing new uh, decks for the 20 win grand challenge that's coming out tomorrow or the next or today or anyway. I don't know what it's coming. Anyway, we got to practice. We got to practice. We got to get going on that thing because we have to win 250,000 gold. I have zero chance. Anyway, so I'm okay with that. I've accepted it, but I think it'll be fun anyway. Just going to town and trying anyway, try a new deck. So let's see what we can do with this Elite Barbarian Hog Rider deck right now. Musketeer provides a ton of defense that, you know, I just stopped using her for a little bit, but she's she's pretty handy. She comes in handy, that's for sure. So he's going to drop his uh, Mega Mini in the back. I'll just drop Bats, just kind of hang out there, chill for a little bit. Um... He's going to drop bats of his own, so I have to drop something as well. So I'm going to drop a musketeer. Wow. So apparently my bat placement was absolutely horrible, and his rocked because he was able to pretty much rock my world right there. Hopefully he puts something else down. There you go. That's an E-Wiz. That gives us the value that we need to take that pump out. I'm 100% okay with that play. Um, we're going to go ahead and go Ice Golem over here to distract his mini P.E.K.K.A. We will take out his Mega Minion, and I'll, I'm going to go ahead and zap. Ah, oh, I didn't need to zap. See, that's overuse of Elixir right there. That's my bad. That's my bad. And he's probably up two Elixir on us, just by my guesstimate. Let's wait and see. We're at five, six, seven. Come on, baby. But we still haven't put down our main weapons here. Um, we're at eight, so we're full. He's got to be... Oh, maybe we're a little better off than I thought. That's excellent. Let's go ahead, let's drop Elite Barbarians in the back, let's split him up, make him defend both lanes, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and drop another pump. Um, so we are going to go ahead and we're going to Lightning this side, boom, boom, boom. Looks like he decided to go defend that side um, with his mini P.E.K.K.A. That Barbarian will do so much damage before he actually gets around to doing anything. So we're going to go like that and we're going to throw our bats down, hopefully he doesn't have Zap or anything and then we should be really well off. 
yeah, that worked out really well. So I'm 100% okay with that. He still has not touched our towers. Um, I am waiting to see what he's saving up for. He's trying to save up for something big, and I don't know what it is. So it's either a golem or three musketeers. Probably a golem is my guess, because that's what everybody else is doing. That's what all the cool kids are doing. So let's go ice wizard. I knew it was a golem. Dang it. Let's go ahead and go like this. Let's go hog rider. Let's bring it in hot. We're going to save our elite barbarians in the back right now. Oh, zap those. <clears throat> let's take those out really quick. We may be able to get this tower down. Uh, looks like I wasted a bunch of elixir. Watching, I think that was my my biggest weakness is I watch, I watch all my troops attack like crazy. Let's go ahead. Let's lightning all that. Boom, boom, boom. We are able to take that out. That, and then we will go elite barbarians up here. Go ahead and take those guys out, please, please, please. There you go. Refocus on that. Um, with the musketeer in the back, we're doing pretty dang well. That elite barb will take the tower down, which is awesome. And I think we have, I think this is a good game. I think this is over right now. Um, yeah, it definitely is, even though I wasted like six more elixir just talking there. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, that's what I do. I'm going to go ahead and lightning that just for fun. Oh, I guess I'm not. So that was a golem deck. Golem Pekka, pretty popular deck as well. We did pretty well against it. So let's get in. Let's get into another battle and see if we can't get another win. Um, let's actually, I'm gonna check that deck out really quick. So yeah, he was using. I was a little bit off the beaten path, I guess. No, it's a pretty common deck. I mean, he's golem, golem, mini Pekka, ice wizard. Everybody's using ice wizard, and everybody's using bats now because that's the new trend. I'm using bats too, so I guess I can't say too much. Anyway, that's five wins. That's not too shabby. Let's get going. Let's get going. I'm trying to decide if <laughs> it seems like sometimes the hump of the challenge, like five, six, seven, sometimes are harder than like eight, nine, ten. The wins. I don't know. Maybe it's just sheer chance or whatever. But that's sometimes what it feels like to me. All right. Let's wait for Feely here. Um, oh, he's oh freak. <laughs> what kind of a clan is that? <laughs> whatever. Uh, I don't know what you have to do to join that clan, but <laughs> that's your call. <laughs> That's your game plan. Okay, we're just gonna wait here. I really have no great um, I probably am gonna end up putting ice wizard in the back if anything obviously uh, Or bats Probably ice wizard now let's do bats. I think it's smarter to play the bats in the back Right because then you have the ice wizard to defend whatever he's got to throw down. So let's go ahead Let's just start out. Let's go bats because I just don't I have no patience whatsoever and it looks like oh nicely done with that side oh crap i'm gonna go hog rider anyway i'm gonna go real hard make him defend over here make him split up whatever he's got coming our way let's go ahead and zap that oh crap missed half the zap that's okay um for the baby dragon coming in we're gonna go ice wizard and it looks like he dropped a poison spell so baby dragon poison a uh, new combination see see what i mean all these new combos i guess oh i guess that's a thing right Let's go, let's split up the E-barbs. Okay, I'm glad I did that at least. <laughs> I almost put them both on one side. Uh, that would have been a nightmare. Let's go ahead and do that. And then he's got that coming. So I'm actually going to push this lane over here. And then let's go ahead and zap that. Boom. No. Ice golem. Come on, get down in time. You were down so much quicker than that. Come on, people. Ah, you flipping ice golem. Get down quicker. <laughs> Let's go Hog Rider now. Now he's not going to be hes not going to be expecting this at all. Ouch, he was expecting it a little bit. Okay, Baby Dragon, don't. Just get two shots off. I'm okay with two. Three? That was just a bonus and a half shell. That's awesome. Um, as soon as Baby Dragon locks on, we're going to go ahead and use our bats. There we go. Bats will clean up that Baby Dragon real nice and slick. We got two Elite Barbs coming in. I'm still going to zap that because I don't want to have to deal with it. That was a perfect zap, by the way. <laughs> We will take out the bats with the ice wizard, and then we will go, oh really, interesting move here. So we're going to go like that. Um, we should be able to take out those elite barbs without too much problem, and without using any more elixir, so that's what I'm going to try and do. And let's go zap his skeleton army right now. Boom. Perfect. That worked out really well. Although he is getting that tower down pretty dang low over here, so I'm going to go ahead and try to defend a little bit. I don't think he's going to be able to get a push together. I don't think he has that yet. Okay, so we should be able to stop that hog rider. Yeah, no problem. 
that worked out really well as well. So super happy about that. Although I've never seen that deck used before. So what was he rocking, dude? <laughs> Let's go see what he was rocking. Um, oh, so he's just got, you know, Hog Rider, a Lee Barb deck. Which, that's cool too. So look at this deck. I mean, it's doing pretty dang decent, man. Uh, if you have not had a chance, be sure and try it out for sure. Oh my gosh. Uh, I think it's a sweet deck to use. Um, it works pretty well in most battles. Um, I will continue. Uh, I'm going to continue this challenge in the next video, so be sure and watch that. And then we will be hopping into that 20 win grand challenge. If I can get my internet streaming up quickly enough, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and do some live battles with that grand challenge or that challenge or whatever and see how that goes but if i can't get it up live then i'll just have to record some regular old videos and go from there anyway thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today if you like what you saw be sure and subscribe um leave some notifications and some likes below and good luck